Hey guys, what's up? It's your man Pete and back with another video here for Selling Toronto. And I came across this video just a couple of days ago on YouTube from the millennial media channel Cheddar and the title was Why So Many American Homes Are So Flimsy. And so it instantly caught my attention. I'm like, why are American homes so flimsy? Because we don't really have flimsy homes here in Toronto or in Canada in general. Homes here are actually built incredibly solid with a lot of brick and stone. We don't really use a lot of wood and siding because for the hard brick and masonry homes, you know, from an engineering standpoint, they are built to last a hundred years. So you can change the interiors, you can change the style, you can do whatever you want to do, but the outside is always going to be there at least for a hundred years. But apparently this doesn't seem to apply in the US and apparently unbeknownst to me, it doesn't apply to Japan either, where a lot of homes are built with wood and siding and they're really only supposed to last about 30 years, which is, I guess, in our context here in Toronto and Canada, very odd and strange. Because if you're going to drop a million dollars or more on a home, you would probably want something that's pretty solid, that's going to last a long time and preserve its value. Because when you see wood and siding homes being built here in Canada, that typically means they are of lower quality or a little bit more affordable. But then, of course, when you're building castles here with brick and stone, they can take longer to build, they cost more, and of course we all know labor is not exactly the cheapest here in Canada. But my understanding in watching this video is that in the US, you know, 30 year old homes are considered very old. In fact, at the 30 year mark, they're considered unfashionable and unmodern to the times, and so I guess they just tear them down, which is incredibly bad for the environment, by the way, when you're tearing down houses and all these materials gotta go in the trash. I know, I get it. It must have something to do with the consumerism in America, where you always have to keep building new and selling selling new and selling the modern product to make sure that there's always a shiny new and modern product for the modern consumer in the US. But of course also in the US they don't have to deal with frigid cold temperatures like we do here and extreme heat in the summertime. And so what they talk about in the video is that yes brick homes are actually much better at keeping heating and cooling inside the house and so our homes here are actually built a lot more efficient because we have to deal with the conditions and the climate. And so having a warm and properly insulated house is is very very important here in Canada and in Toronto and it also explains why we're willing to spend a thousand dollars or more on a winter parka. And then they also mention things like fireproofing and how the fact that a stone or brick home takes I think three or four times longer for it to burn down and so from a safety perspective it actually gives you more time to escape get out of the house and maybe it can actually even be salvageable again because it's brick and stone rather than the tinder box which is a wood and siding home and if you ask any insurance agent that a wood sided home is probably a higher risk property to insure than one that's brick and stone so there is data there is actuaries working on it and there's some facts out there if you work for an insurance company please feel free to post down below we'd love to hear from you as well they also talked about the fact that japan is always building new homes as well too but of course for them it's not necessarily because of consumerism, although that might play a factor in things ever since their real estate bubble bursted decades ago. But their homes are built with flimsier material as well because truth of the matter is they have to deal with a lot of natural disasters, you know, from earthquakes to typhoons to tsunamis. It's constant with them. And so I guess it makes sense not to build a really solid home because it's going to take a long time and it's going to take more resources. You'd rather be able to just pick up and rebuild a lot quicker and a lot cheaper. But here in Canada, especially in the safe confines of Toronto, we don't have to deal with those kinds of disasters, of course, right? And so we can pretty much build whatever we want, you know, castles on the ground, castles in the sky. We're looking to build a hundred story condos now. And so while all this building and construction does take a little bit longer and it costs more to do, our homes are built solid, they're built to last. I guess from a home building perspective, we take after the Europeans a little bit more, of course, but you know, their homes last literally hundreds of years. We definitely don't have the same historical significance of homes and properties or even institutions like they do in Europe. But yes, I watched this video and it gave me a little bit of inspiration and it just got me thinking about sort of how homes are being built and how prices are being affected, obviously here in Toronto where we're expected to hit a million dollar average for properties. We are obviously well beyond that when it comes to freehold and detached homes, but certainly the price of materials and the price of labor and the length of time it takes for us to build properties here because you know they're built solid, they're built to last. When you're buying a home, you're not just buying in a great neighborhood and location, but you're also buying the materials of the home as well too. And so you definitely want to get 
some of the best and we do have some of the best here in the greater Toronto area. So I just thought I would throw out this quick little video. I'm going to post the description link for that video from Cheddar down below. Please be sure to give us a subscribe, throw us up a like, leave us a comment if you like the video because it definitely helps us with the algorithm. But we'll see you in the next one and bye for now.